Hi guys, so this is the first video tutorial for our lesson adding and subtracting polynomials, okay? So I'm going to present you some examples and I know that you've read the notes already, so let's see if you can do them. So let's have the first example. So we have there 13x squared minus 3x then plus 4x squared. So again, 13x squared minus 3x squared plus 4x squared. So see if you're adding or subtracting polynomials, you have to make sure, you have to make it sure that they are the same terms or they are like terms. So let's check. That's x squared. The next one's x squared and the last one's x squared. That means you can combine everything. So let's do the math. What's 13? Because we can combine everything. Just Let's just deal with the numbers or the coefficients before them, the numbers before the variables. So 13 minus 3, it's 10. Then 10 plus 4, that's 14. That means for the first one, that should be, oh, it's not clear, let me see. So that should be 14x squared. And that should be the first one. So again, since they are like terms, you can combine them right away. Now let's have the next one. So same goes with um, decimals. So let's check first if they are like terms. So do they have the same variables or exponents? So let's check. That's m cubed. That's m cubed. That's m cubed and that's m cubed or raised to the power of three. Now, so since they have the same term, that means you can combine everything. If you do 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3, take note of the minus, plus 0 0.2 plus m. Now, if you have an m, only m, don't forget that there's one before that. So the coefficient is one. So that means you're going to add one. So again, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3, that's 0 0.2. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2, that's 0 0.4. 0 0.4 plus one, that's just 1.4 m cubed. Don't forget to write that variable. So that's for the second one. So let's have another example so what happens if you have different terms or everything's not the same or not the same term now let's check first number three so you have there four y squared minus four minus seven y squared plus eight now the ones which are like terms is four y squared and that negative seven y squared that means you can only combine them on the other hand, we also have negative 4 and 8. So that means you can combine those two. So let's try the y squareds first. So you always start with the one with the greatest exponent first. So 4y squared minus 7y squared, that's just negative 3. Don't forget the y squared. Now, you have here negative 4 plus 8. What's negative 4 plus 8? That's just plus 4. So you should have negative 3y squared plus 4 for that one. Number 4, so let's check which ones have the same term. So this is a squared plus 3ab minus 4ab plus 3a squared. So the ones with the a squared, let's do them first. So again, if you have that variable only, no number or no coefficient before that, that means you have one. So you have to consider that one. So what's one plus three for a squared? That's just four a squared. Now, let's do the a, b's. Oh, that's a squared. Now, three a, b minus four a, b. What's three minus four? It's negative one. So you write negative, you don't have to write negative one, but make sure you write that AB. Therefore, your answer for the fourth example is 4A squared 
minus AB. So again, since 3 minus 4 is negative 1, that should be negative 1. So 1 times AB is just AB. So you don't have to write negative 1 or the 1. Okay? So that's it. That's for the first video tutorial. So I will upload more. So I hope you are fine. You're okay. You're doing good. Stay safe. See ya.